Sup? This is Gregatron. Yeah, so... <clears throat> this is happening. It's been confirmed. Uh, I always call it Reign of the Superman, but... It's Death of Superman. And the Return of Superman. Uh, that comic line... Very popular. My favorite is Rain. It's five parts. It's, uh, let's see. The Death of Superman is part one. Number two was Funeral for, Funeral for a Friend. Three is Rain. That's my favorite. Four was Return of Superman. And then five was Doomsday. When he fights Doomsday again. Well, they're condensing that into two animated movies. And that makes me really happy. I'm really excited. Because it's one of my favorite comic book stories of all time. Easily. And I've seen a lot of animated series and I've read a decent amount of comics and I've seen a lot of movies, but out of all the stories that I've seen, the death and the reign and the return of Superman, that's probably in my top five. And I'm not even a Superman fan. So that's what I tell people. Like, if it comes from me, if I'm saying, you really need to read this story, Reign of the Superman, which I'll get into that later, what that is. If it's coming from me saying that, then you should really listen. And you should really read this. Because if I was like the biggest Superman fan ever, and I was like, yeah, you should read the Superman story. Like, it wouldn't mean anything, because I would say that's like a lot of Superman stuff. Or all Superman stuff. But Superman's not even my guy. But... I just love, I genuinely love this story, or arc, whatever you want to call it. You know, I, I show my stuff off, I'll have my comics to show you guys stuff, but I let my big brother borrow it, so he's got Rain, Return, and he's got Doomsday. <coughs> well, <clears throat> what's special about Rain of the Superman is to me the character Steel. Steel has been my favorite Superman character and one of my favorite superheroes since I was a toddler. Steel. And he's kind of a big part of Reign of the, Reign of the Superman. He's one of the quote unquote substitutes or the placeholders or one of the guys who is trying to take up on the mantle. Whereas Steel is the guy who doesn't want to be Superman. He's just a guy who's trying to do the right thing. You know, I think Lois Lane said, she was trying to interview him once in the story, and she's like, you know, people are calling you the new uh, Man of Steel. You know, what are your thoughts on that? Like, what do you think about that? And Steel is just like, I have no intentions of being Superman. You know, yeah, I wear the S because the S is what he stood for. You know, that was his symbol. And I just want to kind of follow that path of goodness, that path of light. So he's not trying to replace Superman. He's just trying to be his own type of hero. But he doesn't want to be Superman. Everybody's just calling him the Man of Steel. And it's funny because when he finally meets Superman as Steel, he met him before as John Henry Irons, but when he finally meets Superman in the comic, he's like, hey, it's good to finally have you here or whatever, and Superman's like, so what do they call you? And he's like, they call me the Man of Steel. And then Superman's like, is there a way we can just call you Steel for short? And I thought that was funny because... Superman is supposed to be known as the Man of Steel, but he's dead now. So everyone is calling Steel the Man of Steel because he's Steel. 
So after that moment in the comics, they just call him Steel. <laughs> but, uh, stuff like that I like. You know, and there's a lot going on that's not even Steel or the Eradicator or Superboy or Supergirl or Cyborg Superman. Like, there's stuff going on, like, under the sewers. There, There's, like, dinosaur people down there. Or no, no, that's that's a different story. I'm sorry. Uh, I guess there's these aliens that come from outer space, and they uh, they hide in the sewers, and they kidnap people and kill them, and they can only survive by like drinking blood. So they, they shoot their tongues out like into the back of people's necks and kill them, and then Steel gets word of it, and then uh, Steel has to go down there and take care of business. But like, I don't even think that's gonna be in there because it's only a two part movie. But uh, I, I, I want to see how they uh, how they react, how they interact with each other, as far as the Eradicator and Steel, and Steel and Superboy and Superboy and the Eradicator, and I, I remember Guy Gardner was in that story. It's just I like how Cyborg Superman acts with the Eradicator. It's just really good because. At first, you think the Eradicator is the bad guy. Well, something changes to where that's not necessarily the case. It's just disgusting. That, and like I said, I could make a video just about Steel. You know, Steel is my top five favorite superheroes of all time. You know, number one is Venom. Well, people say he's not a hero. Well, he's not a villain either. You know, Venom is number one. Nightwing, Dick Grayson, that's number two. The first Robin. Uh, number three is Hank McCoy, Beast. Number four and five is no particular order, but it's Steel and uh, The Thing, Ben Grimm. But, uh... The fact that this is one of my favorite stories of all time, and they're making this into an animated movie, it's just going to be a lot of fun. Because the voice acting, you know, for all we know, uh, Bruce Tim is going to be behind production, hopefully. And DC always does a great job when it comes to animated movies. Always. The music's on point. The <laughs> the characters are on point. The voices are on point. I mean, they're already using the source material from... some. Sometimes they drag it directly out of the comics. Like uh, Frank Miller's Year One and... What was it? The Dark Knight Returns Part 1 and 2. There's some stories that DC will work on where they take it word for word. Now, I don't know if they're going to do that or if they're going to tweak it some. I think they're going to tweak it because, like I said, uh, the death of Superman and the return of Superman together is so large, they're going to have to cut a bunch of stuff out. But, uh, man, this is going to be a blast. Superboy, I like him. This is the back when Superboy was Superman's clone. And uh, he hates being called Superboy. Every time they call him Superboy in the news or something, he hates that. Like, he'll kick the TV over or something. Or, you know, one time he got into it with Steel. Because he's kind of reckless and Steel's like, that's not how we do things. Like, that's not how Superman would act. You know, it's just, it's just so good. And the Eradicator, he has good intentions. They call him the last son of Krypton. He has good intentions, but he does things that Clark would never do, just like Superboy does things that Clark would have never done, just like all of them. So, they're all Superman in their own way, but there could only be one. But, I like it. You know, to me it's so much more fun that he's not there. Like, I enjoy the Superman story more when 
<coughs> excuse me, when he's gone, because there's all these what ifs, you know what I mean, and he's one of the biggest characters, he's probably the biggest superhero of all time, so to see Metropolis deal with this, this void is really, really special. And like I said, I could just talk about steel. Like this guy, when he throws his hammer, the longer his hammer is in the air, the higher the velocity goes, the faster it goes. And then basically the longer it's in air, the harder it gets. And the faster and the stronger it gets. Like this guy... I can't even talk about steel anymore. Like, this dude is incredible. Like, people don't even know. Like, this this guy is like a black, more poor version of Tony Stark. Like, people don't even know. John Henry Irons, that's that guy. And they all have to team on that. I don't want to give it away. I'm not going to tell you what happens at the end and stuff, but... People have to... No, I'm not even going to say that. It, it's just... Just read it. You know, part one comes out at the end of this year. Part two comes out sometime next year. But hurry up and read it before the anime movie comes out. Because it'll be that much more fun, you know what I mean? I got mine from Barnes & Noble. I got Reign of the Superman. I got The Return of Super. It's called Reign of the Supermen. That's about the four of them. And then, uh, number four is called The Return of Superman. That's when he comes back in the black suit. Uh, that's the one that absorbs solar energy better. I kind of wish they did that in the Justice League movie, but that's a whole different topic. And then, uh, Doomsday is when he fights Doomsday a second time. And they did do an interpretation before on animated movies. It's called, uh, Superman Doomsday. But, that kind of covered what I talked about, but it was just one movie, so they had to condense it a lot. So instead of it being four different Supermen, they kind of just dealt with one. One other than the one we know and love. So this is going to be more thorough and flushed out. It's just going to be, and it's just going to be disgusting. All right. I might make another video. Who knows? Let me know what you think. Uh, I named my top five superheroes. I want you to name yours. Even if one of them is an anti-hero or such. Like Magneto. Magneto's not a villain. If somebody said Magneto was in their top five superheroes, I wouldn't be mad at them. But yeah. Uh, just anybody. You know, it could be the Punisher. It could be Blade. It could be Ghost Rider. Well, now I'm naming Marvel people. But, you know, it could be anybody. Mr. Terrific. It could be anybody. All right, peace.